It is Thursday morning and here is uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin in the morning and I can see a lot more things. Um, for example, in the distance here, there is a big light sign. You see that? And then over here, there's something that says uh, what does that say? I don't. I didn't even know I was zooming in on this. There's a name there, Saint Mary Cement. I can't read it through the camera. I didn't even see that. That's not where I was headed. I was headed here, Lone Star. And then you have the highway up above here. And I always hit my head on these curtain rods. And then there's a business next to us right beside this hotel called Zarn. And people have been going into work. I see a guy sitting in there looking out. Probably wondering, what is that woman doing filming? And let's see what else I can see. It's a big city. I see a Chase sign over there. Always. There's always one of those. But people are coming into work in this building next to us. This bridge is so cool. I love looking at the bridge. See how that's that thing's leaning? And they actually park under the bridge too. I love watching all the traffic though. So this is the gift shop that they have, and I think it's closed. I'm not going to even try to go in because I'm not going to buy anything, but they have the products available in there that they, um, that they have in the room. They also have some popcorn, and it looks like candles and scarves, hoodies, things like that, socks, and then through, through there they're having uh, breakfast. And this is the pool table. I couldn't really show you last night because there were people here, but this is the bar. And this um, this had lots of people in it last night too, so I couldn't really show you. I didn't walk over here, but it's it's a beautiful bar. we were seeing from the window. So there was the hotel right there. Oh, there's that Harley Davidson uh, place, Kevin. You see the... Oh, yeah. It's a big place. Museum. That carries the steam from the power company. Ah. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I thought it was just architectural. <laughs> Well, it's that too, but uh, I just learned that that's what that did. That's the place. Oh, yeah, I see that. That's very interesting.
so here I'll show you a couple of things. Connie's? We've never seen Connie's. We don't have Connie's. So, so these are, um, yeah, so the, these are all of our, yeah, our brands. So obviously screaming that you're very Yes, familiar with. yes. Urban Pie, and one of the things that we've done on this brand recently is we did a cleaner label. So we now are using RVST free cheese. Uh, there's um, on the meat ones, this is just older packaging, but it's got uh, meats that are without hormones or antibiotic free. Um, and then we have some new items coming out on Urban Pie that are vegetable based crusts. So like a sweet potato crust, a broccoli and cheddar crust. Right. So that's another, um, you know, more in the premium, super premium right. segment. And then, um, you know, you come in on Connie's. This is a brand that we acquired in early 2017. Connie's is a restaurant in Chicago, famous oh. uh, restaurant, and we bought the frozen food piece of that business. Okay. So um, it's a really, really great uh, pizza. It's got a, a cornmeal crust. It looks yeah, really good. good. Yes, that's especially that that's one yeah. One that's, one. Yeah, the yeah that looks delicious. Yeah, so yeah, so that's uh, you know mostly Chicago, Milwaukee. We're right. starting to branch this brand out right. to other areas right. of the country because, especially like markets like Florida, Arizona, where you get a lot of snowbirds from the Midwest, right. Right. you know, that are familiar with the brand. But it does really well in these markets. Right. Yeah. And, and of then, course, we don't get to play around. Well, we we uh. Normally, aren't they? Weren't they in a green box? Uh, well, we do have our Remo. Okay, thing. see, I be... I was thinking. Um, I thought box? they were in a green box. Uh, have they never been green? Oh, there was a green. I think it was the pizzeria. Okay. Uh, under Palermo's. Because, because I was thinking, I've, I've seen a green box, but that's it. Yeah. So this is. Um, yes. Yeah, so this is our Primo Thin brand. So this is. Um, Second in terms of size to Screaming Sicilian from our branded portfolio. So um, this is being relaunched literally as we speak. So we're going to um, more kind of healthful claims on packaging. So when we've done comparisons in the market of like calories, proteins, carbs, we found our Primo Thin is the lowest, of, right. you know, higher in protein but lower right. calories right. And, and carbs. So we've got a whole makeover that we're doing and relaunching uh, the brand and then introduce some new flavor varieties. So like, for example, our margarita pizza, off the top of my head, yeah, 260 calories. So we have a big burst on pack that's 260. And I could show you some of the uh, you know, new packaging. Right. It's pretty, um, you know, we're pretty proud of where it's going. Right. Um, but, you know, so that's been a big initiative for us as well is to you know really help um, promote more of this kind of what we call mindful eating. Right. It's like you still want to indulge and have a good pizza, and right. it's not a diet pizza by any means, right. but it's like it's, it's you're making a better decision. Right, right. Yep. and I've never seen the breakfast pizza. No. <laughs> no, yeah, it's, it's, well, no. If you go to um, High B in Iowa, <laughs> you'll get a right, of right. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so then this is open, up, like I said, to the public, and then obviously a lot of employees will come right. in here, and you know, it's one of the perks of uh, working here. Every employee gets uh, six free pizzas a month, oh, wow. so um, which is you know nice, yeah. you know, and that includes all the people that are working out in the manufacturing right. floor. Yeah. Right. This is our kitchen where we blend our mint sauces. So a lot of companies, they make one sauce and pepperoni, cheese, all the same sauce on all the pizza, essentially. Ours is specific to the pizza. We custom blend it here in the house. The tomato paste is brought in via intermodal or train from California, pumped out into the sauce tanks, which we cook. So they drop the water in, the seasoning, and everything based on what we have for the product, the, the flavor profile we're looking for. If, for instance, over here today, they've got hot sauce. That's like, you know, whatever type of hot sauce it is. They add that at a certain ratio into it to give it a little more tanginess or spiciness to it. And it may complement the pepperoni. So they'll do that based on the recipe that's designed. And that's our innovation team figures out. Our heartburn in operations is, is that we have a lot of recipes, right? right. So right. The great thing for those other guys that make pizzas is they make one recipe, it's real easy to run, they do it all day long. Right. I don't get that luxury, right? Right. So, so there's a sensor in there that can capture what the sauce is on. 
cut the flow by and drop the exhaust at the right time. That sensor also counts the pieces going into our process and shredding. The different pieces get different shreds. Sometimes if there's less cheese on the build of pizza, we'll have more fines and smaller pieces. If there's more cheese, we'll have less fine bigger pieces. We, we designed the shred, the shred settings to accommodate the range of shreds that we want on pizza based on the build that we have. this and doing this with it. That's doing that mechanically through this drum. There's a belt on the backside that gives it resistance and it forms a dough ball like this. So we have what's called a cross sheeting process. It's a little slower than other sheeting processes, but it's, it gives you a real authentic, gently handled dough uh, cross. So it does this, drops into the trays here for intermediate, intermediate grouping. What this is doing is just letting the dough relax so we can shape it the way we want to. Once it's through the oven, we can't do much with it. So we grab it here, we can rework it back into the dough. You see she has a handful up there we, we recycle. So they said every couple of minutes they come take it over for the next batch and they take it over probably every few minutes. on it's 600 degrees so those the things that crust are riding on that is literally Italian slate it's dumb expensive weighs a million pounds if you look real close and kind of bend down you can see down there you'll see the flames up in the back side the flames shoot across and heat it from the top but they heat those stones to 600 degrees so they maintain that temperature this is just keeping the air above it going and that gives you the nice blistering you see on the top of these crusts it's a really, really good pizza, authentic pizza crust. Corners, they can use their credit cards and there's... So this is the break room. Everybody, yep, this is the break room for everyone. And they come in here and they can get free pizza. Pizza all the time. Pizza all the time, every day. Yep, and there's always a different variety going. That's good, I, I think it's neat that companies are doing that more and more and more, yeah. supplying food for employees. Yeah. So we've been sitting here for probably, what, an hour? <laughs> <laughs> Eating pizza, this is just a, a very, very small amount of the pizza that we've had. Um, and these are some over here on the side um, of the uh, Screaming Sicilian. They, uh, we've had some that we've never had before and that I hope will uh, come to Kentucky. Um, but yeah, we've, we've uh, taste tested some that were out uh, before and then the new pizzas. And so that's where we've been today. And they gave us a little, um, they gave us a nice uh, swag bag to take home. This will fit um, four to six. <laughs> four to six frozen box pizzas in it. And so when we get back home, I'll probably wait till we get back home. And then I'll open this for you and I'll show you everything that was inside. Yeah, this is the church that was lit up last night. And it was beautiful with those stained glass windows.
headed to Detroit. Getting on the plane for Detroit. 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 The heart of rock and roll. We are back in Detroit for like an hour. Our plane doesn't leave for an hour back to Lexington. So it's still cold here. Okay, we're getting on our plane to Lexington. I did go in one gift shop while we were in Detroit and I spent like $45 on a couple of candy bars. Uh, but we're getting on the plane now for Lexington. This plane is older. It's one of these that used to have an ashtray in the handle. <laughs> so you could sit here and smoke your cigarette. Can you imagine? No, I can't. This, it's a much smaller plane. We're back in Lexington. So this is how busy it is here. Now there were actually some people waiting when we came in. Um, I think because our plane was late, they were running late. They were waiting for that plane to come in so that they could get where they needed to go. So, but the restaurants and stuff are closed, of course. Luckily, we're still full of pizza. <laughs> huh? It surprises me that they close this early. I guess if you know, yeah, if you know you don't have a lot of planes taken off or something, then there's no point. The local time is 8.30 p.m. The revolving door. Wee! Slow moving door. Huh? It's very slow. <laughs> so we are back home from our trip. And I got a haircut. And Kevin got a haircut. Too bad he didn't get a haircut before we leave. I didn't have time. Um, but this is the goodie bag that they gave us. Um, it says uh, palmeros, yes, and so you open it, and this actually holds four uh, to six pizzas. boxes of frozen pizzas, yeah. yeah. Well, four boxes of pizzas, but if you get the round ones in the plastic, you can shove a lot more in there. Yes, yes. So, I'm going to show you what they gave us. They gave us a nice uh, zip-up. A uh, sweatshirt that is very nice. Mm -hmm, it says Screaming Sicilian, Colorado Timberline. Tim Timberline. 
Timberline. That is not. There's another one in here. I'll pull it out. Yes, there's there, other stuff on top. Yes, and that has, look, it has pockets that yes, zip and nice. everything. So you could put, wear it out, put your gloves or your phone, and you wouldn't have to worry about you it. You needed that while we were there. It was fun. <laughs> <It was cold. laughs> um, oh, here's the other one. So then they gave us coupons for a good for one free Scream and Sicilian premium frozen product, which means we could get a Scream and Sicilian. Yeah, that's yeah, another so one. Those are very nice. They gave us two. So we could get a pizza or you could get one of their strawberry sandwiches or they sell the singles. Uh, so you're, you don't just have to get a big pizza if you want. Of course, that's, you know that's what we're gonna get. So we have two Screaming Sicilian glasses, which are very heavy, yeah, nice very glasses. Heavy and then we have uh, one of their jumbo pizza cutters that says, uh, it says Screaming Sicilian on the end. It's big. It, yes, <laughs> it is a very, that's, very that's nice pizza. That's a thick pizza. Yes, very nice. And a very nice cutting board. Ashley peeked in the bag when we got home last night and she said, if you all don't need that cutting board, <laughs> you can put that with my apartment stuff or future home stuff up in the attic. <laughs> she's, she's got home type stuff. Yeah. It is a nice cutting board. It's very heavy it's wood very and nice. it's got the lip around it to where if you get any liquids run off like you're cutting tomatoes or something, it doesn't run off. Right. It's, it's nice. That's very nice. And the so good thing about wood is that's the inside of the Some bag. people say wood, it feels like bamboo, honestly. That's what it kind of feels like. Um, some people say they don't like wood cutting boards because they attract, they keep uh, bacteria, bacteria in there, but you can bleach them. Yeah. You can bleach wood really easily. Yes. So, so, so anyway, and that's cool. And then you can see the inside of the bag. It's it's a huge bag. It doesn't, what, doesn't look like it's that big, but it really is. Thank you bag. very much for this goodie bag. One of the last awesome. things I showed you all was the pizzas that we had been sitting there trying. And that we wasn't all of them. They had taken away. They had already taken away. Probably four. A bunch of them that we six. had tried. So we tried even more than what you saw. But... I didn't want to sit there with us trying pizzas yeah. and, and, and we were talking filming. and stuff like Yeah, that. we were talking about things. But what they did was it was really cool because they had like a, they would had a Bessie's Revenge and they brought out one of their old ones and they brought out one of their new ones. And they wanted us to tell them which one we liked the best. We did pick the old one. Mm. Um, but then they brought out like a uh, the combination. Um, the Supreme. The, Supremus sorry, Maximus. The, the Supremus Maximus. Uh, they brought that out. They brought out uh, some of their single serve pizzas. Yeah, and now that's the only two they compared us to was the cheese and the supreme. Yeah, that was it. That was the only two compared. But just to try, just yeah. to, to. But the other ones, yeah, it was just to try out. What, what do you think about it? And, and then they let us have something that we don't have in our area right now. But I can. We're hoping they will. I can talk to you about it because. They already are selling these at some stores in where? Chicago and, and Milwaukee. And, and, Milwaukee. Yeah. and I'm pretty sure one of my viewers, John, I'm pretty sure he has told me, hey, if you see these, you should try one. And they are the... Um, deli style. Yes. The Screaming Sicilian deli style. Yes. So they don't come in a box. They come shrink wrapped. In plastic. With uh, Screaming Sicilian on the front. Like a sticker. And, and, and they're in the deli section. Yes. So they're, they're refrigerated. They're not frozen. Right. So it's more of a, um, you go in there, you, you buy something for dinner like that night or maybe the next night. It's not one you stick in the freezer for a week or two. Right. This is one you're going to eat either that night or the next night. That's what they're made for. Right. So they had a cheese. And then they had one, was it a- Pepperoni? Like a Supreme, no, because no, it had bacon. It had sausage it's a and bacon meat, Maybe multi-meat, multi that's what they call it, multi-meat. Okay. I'm sure that's not what they call it on the package, but it was multi-meat is what they were calling it for us. Okay, well, yeah. they had that one and cheese. They're sensational. They're very, very, very the good. The texture of them is so different and it's hard to even explain the difference. Whereas when you bite into one of the regular pizzas, it's a it's a chewier experience. These were um, these it's like were, a thin crust. Yes, crispy pizza. Yes, but they were both excellent. Yeah, excellent and pizzas. and the one of the reasons I, we were eating them and that we ate the cheese one first, and I said, this is really good. I really like it. There's something different with this cheese. What kind of cheese does this have? And he said, you know, it's got the typical Parmesan and mozzarella and stuff. And he said it's got cheddar in it. I said that's what I'm tasting. I'm tasting the cheddar. 
And, I, and then we tried the other one, the meat one, and I said, that's got the same thing. It's got cheddar and two, doesn't it? And he said, yes. And I said, that makes so much difference. Cheddar and cheese. And the difference cheese. of that flavor, you would be amazed at how much different just a little cheddar cheese makes. And they were good. They so were very, very I can't good. wait. To, I, I should have told them before we left. Hey, if you, <laughs> Ship a few if you want to send us a few, we'd be more than happy to show them to people. Um, but no, they were as, really good. as soon like as we five, get them, we'll be trying them. They're like five right different in. varieties? Five, I think they five or eight, something like that. There was there was a um, bunch of. I them. think he said five. That's but what I was. Yeah, they are very very good pizzas, mm. uh, and and like I said, the texture is different than what you are accustomed to with the frozen pizza. Um, they, uh, we were very very honored to be allowed to, especially to film where they were making the pizzas yeah. because they don't allow that. Yeah, they said you are truly VIPs because we don't allow people normally to film back here. Right. So, so it so, was quite a quite a special treat to be able to do that. Yes. And we feel honored to be able to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I told Kevin, I said, you know, we watch the show How It's Made on TV. This was like being there. Right. It was like being on it was a cool. part of How It's Made and getting to see it uh, from start to finish. Yeah, they make Screaming Sicilian there and the Plumero's Pizza, they make those there. Connie? Um, Connie's, yes, and I would have forgotten Connie's. Yes, yeah, Connie's was a brand. Connie's yeah, that's there. evidently a brand kind of local to that area of Chicago, that kind of area. Yeah, yeah. And they said they had purchased that brand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we don't get the Connie's here. Yeah. Uh, but. Urban Pie Surprise, man, I didn't know that they did that one. But those are flavors that we wouldn't necessarily gravitate towards anyway. Right. Yeah. Yes, I think because people have asked us to try the Urban Pie, and we just. We've looked at them, but it's like they're just not your typical. Uh, they have like pesto, pesto and, and marinara and, and different toppings like broccoli right. and you know maybe a broccoli cheese pizza and stuff like that. It's just stuff we wouldn't necessarily right. like. How clean it was! It, it was, was very immaculate, very clean. The worker, the people working there, seemed very happy. You know they what I found? Neat? Well covered. They yeah. were covered from head to toe. But I thought it was neat that as we were walking through, we were the the manager, the general manager of production, was given as vice president, whatever his title was. Um, he was giving us a tour, and the employees there were waving at him, saying hello, shaking his hand. You know, they all knew him, and they you were all joking tell around they had with a him. Good relationship. And he wasn't hiding in his office. He's out there working. I mean, mm -hmm. he's out there he's on the floor, dealing, mingling with yes. people. He's not out there just yeah. So they office. they all uh, yeah. had a friendly word for him, and uh, mm -hmm. were glad, happy to see him. But uh, very happy, uh, and like I said, they're covered from head to toe. Yeah. So we, well, you'll see in a picture. Um, and yeah. they'll put that in this. Oh yeah. The, there's a picture of me and Tammy in front of the oven and we actually had taken, I had a beard cover on. But we had put things on our, these uh, slip booties. resistant booties. Yeah. And then we put uh, this big like lab coat. Yeah. And then we had uh, ear plugs. Ear plugs. And then safety we had glasses. Safety hair glasses, net. hair net. And then Kevin had the one for his beard. And I'm wondering, did, they, did some people have gloves if you work, if you're working in there? I can't I, remember I, I if the workers... I didn't pay any close enough attention. Yeah. Um, I know there's sinks, the big sink there, they make them wash their hands. Before oh, they yeah. We, even though we weren't going to touch anything, just to be in there, we had to immediately stop wash and wash up before we could yeah. see anything. But you know what? Honestly, the employees aren't physically touching a lot of the food. No. So I would say a lot of the people, the people that are touching things, they probably do wear gloves. I, I didn't pay, I just didn't pay attention. I didn't right. think to look at that. But they have a... Um, what is it a nurse on duty there nurse practitioner? all the time yeah, so that's like cool. it, he said like if, if they have anything going if they have high blood pressure he said right or, then yeah. they can go see that person that's there yeah. at the company and they don't have to leave work and i think that's awesome and that person can prescribe medication to them yeah. he said that they don't have the medications there but they give give them a prescription and they can go get they it they have a physical therapy room upstairs so if their if an employee's getting some shoulder pain or something they they have a physical therapy room and i asked because i know toyota doesn't do they do motion studies for that employee like is it something they're doing wrong um, are they picking up a box the wrong way or something? Right. And he said they do. The, the part of that physical therapy treatment is that they will um, watch that employee work to see if they're maybe lifting a box wrong or putting it over their head when they shouldn't be. That kind of stuff. So I think that's that's that shows you that it is an employee centered company. So I, I really appreciate the fact that they are that employee centered, which is almost like family life. 
for right. that vending at the and the, You may be wondering, why did they have you all there? Why did they invite you? Why did they do that? Well, because we have reviewed every, if, if Kevin has reviewed a lot on his lunchtime review channel, but the full size pizzas, we've reviewed them on my channel. And then they made some changes. Well, and we loved them. We love like our go-to yes. pizzas. We wouldn't Favorite have bought any pizza, other pizza. And I even told them, I said, I would rather get one of your pizzas than order from Papa John's or Domino's or Little Caesars. Any of these uh, pizza places, I would much rather. And that's saying a lot. To want to... To want to go to Kroger and get a frozen pizza over going to these other pizza places, that means it's a heck of a good, pizza. a good pizza. So then they made some changes, they made some updates. We did another video, and we were like, "It's not our favorite pizza anymore." It, you know, it broke my heart because um, we we love them, and we were like, "Okay, we're, we we can't buy them anymore," and 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 they changed so much that we wanted to tell you all about it. That's why they got in contact with me. And, and it's not just us either. Uh, many people commented under that video saying, I'm glad it wasn't just us. I got messages on Facebook from people saying, um, I'm glad that you noticed it too because I had noticed it. And so they invited us because <coughs> they wanted us to know that it's, uh, they care about their, their and customers. They're listening. They are listening. They care about their customers. He said... Uh, we're human. We're we're uh, we're not perfect. He said, you know, we made some changes that we thought um, our customers wanted and were looking for, and clearly some of the the changes that we made were not popular. Right. It, it didn't do us any favors. Can I give an example? Yes. So, like their Bessie's Revenge, they used to have the really thick slices of pepperoni or the um, mozzarella, mozzarella cheese, yeah. and there probably were four or five. Mm -hmm. So they thought, you know, the whole Screaming Sicilian brand, the whole point of Screaming Sicilian is that it's kind of over the top toppings. It's like more, 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 you know, that's like mega toppings on there. So their idea was we'll cut them a little thinner, but we'll, we'll give them more of them. So the cheese, the number, the amount of cheese is the same, but you get more of those little pucks of right. cheese on there. So they thought, well, that would be better because you're getting more of it. It ends up that most people found that they 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 like the thicker pucks of cheese because you get these really thick layers of cheese. You don't get it as covered as much, but you get these sections. And it has a super thick flavor. Yeah, right? well, they're, they're so thick that mm -hmm. you really, that's all you taste is that cheese, right. which was the whole point. So that was one of those things that they thought customers would really enjoy a smaller, a smaller, a thinner disc, but covered on the same a bigger area of the pizza. Right. When in reality, most customers would rather have a smaller number of the pucks, but thicker. Right. So the good news is, is that they're coming back. They're going back. They're to, going back. To a lot of the things that they changed, they're kind of going back. They're going to, back. Not a hundred percent, but pr pretty, pretty good. But a lot of it, yes. Like uh, so, the boxes, the the original Screaming Cecilia box had the cutout of the big mouth, and uh, the next. Uh, I think they said maybe in late March was that Something like that. They said it was coming. They are are you're gonna see those boxes reintroduced. Right. So when so you, the current boxes don't have any cutout. It's just a picture. It's just it's just a solid a box. Yeah. So when you see those boxes come back out, when you see those at your store, you will know that those are the pizzas that you know and you love and you love about Screaming Sicilian. You you know that the pizzas inside those boxes. Um, they are supposed to be making changes to where they're going to go back to what they were popular for. Right. Um, like the pepperoni, um, they used to use a rough cut pepperoni. They're not going back to that. They went from a rough cut to a slices in a julienne kind of slice, like a really they thin. They had to though. That's what they're doing now. Right. So what they're going to next, instead of that, it's really, they said it's really hard to get the same quality or the same quantity of pepperoni on those, it's kind of hard to get them right. even. They're going to a double stack pepperoni, which I think sounds awesome. And they showed us one of those. And it's got so much pepperoni, it's ridiculous. Um, they've actually already started doing that. So if you're yes. in the, if the stock that they currently have, they've got to get rid of that first, of course. Then you'll start seeing these double stack pepperoni. So the, the what is the, what is the holy pepperoni? So the holy pepperoni pizza is pretty soon you're going to see a layer of pepperoni and then another layer of pepperoni on top. They said they actually have 30 
30 to 34 slices of pepperoni, somewhere around there, 32 slices of pepperoni on one pizza, which is, I said, that's like I would do at home. <laughs> <laughs> the, the smell in there was incredible. Oh, yeah. The minute you walk in, you get the smell of the sauce because that was the first area yes. we went into. Yeah. And it was it's amazing. like you're in an Italian restaurant. And then when, as we were walking through the, the bakery part where they're making the, the crust, it was like, this smells like home when Kevin is making bread. homemade rolls or bread. That's what this smells like. It smells wonderful. And so by the time we got to the tasting part, it was like... I was starving, um, but they're so exact. It's amazing on their measurements. And what was he saying about those meatballs? You could be like- He said you, you, a quarter of a meatball or half a meatball all, and it kicks it out as being too much or yeah. too less. It was really cool because uh, the pizzas would come through and the sensors on there, they know if anything at yeah, all is missing all. on it and it'll kick it out. And it's already wrapped, so it's not like it goes to waste. It, it, no. it kicks out. And this was another thing I thought was cool. Those, those uh, not up to specs pizzas, you know, the ones that aren't perfect, they actually um, sell those. They sell them to the customer. I mean, the, they get free ones. They get like six pizzas free they a month. They get six pizzas, yeah, pizzas free a month. Yeah. And those they sell at a deep discount. Yeah. Or they put them in the break room and just have them and give them out to the employees during the day. Um, they just they just give them to them. Yeah, they can have pizza every single day for lunch. Which if I work there, I, I would have to watch myself. Well, I think I would get sick of it after a while because you eat the same thing. Because I, I worked at Bob Evans and you get sick of the same thing all the right. time. Right. But pizza every once in a while that would be really good. That's just um, an awesome thing that they do for their employees. So. Yes. Yeah. So I was gonna I, I was gonna mention that they have the room for the public, but you saw that in the video that I showed yeah. that earlier. But the bottom line is that. They, they care about us, they care about you. They wanted to show us what was going on and that they're going back. And they want us, uh, they wanted to show us so that we could uh, pass that information along to you. So I am just um, thrilled to have the opportunity and it was just a fantastic experience. Everyone there was extremely welcoming to us and you know that Kevin and I are very, very honest. So when they put something in front of me, if it wasn't my thing, I mean, I was very honest. I told them. So it's not like I'm um, making it sound better than it is to you all because they paid for it. Because yes, they paid for us to go there. But if, if it hadn't been a great experience, then I would tell you all, you know, mm -hmm. it wasn't that great of an experience, but it was. They paid for our flights. Uh, there and back transportation they paid for transportation from the airport to the hotel and then from the hotel to the um, factory they paid for our room for the night which was in a beautiful hotel it was it was very very nice i loved the uh loved everything about that that industrial look but uh, tammy they, got the soft pillow i had to sleep on the hard one though <laughs> that's the only complaint the only Kevin complaint had. Kevin had one complaint and that was his pillow. That pillow was hard as a brick. <laughs> but then I asked Tammy and she goes, oh no, mom was perfect. It molded to my face and everything. I'm mom like, well, mom was just hard. <laughs> yeah, Kevin's, <laughs> anyway. Kevin's more finicky about his pillow though. But it was a fantastic it was experience. Very nice. And we loved it and loved the people. Yeah. The people there were so down to earth and easy to talk to and friendly and welcoming and it was just a remarkable we, experience. We met one of the owners? One of the owners? Yes, came in. yes, one of the owners came in. We were, you know, here's, I've got pizza in my teeth <laughs> and yeah, the owner comes down and, and yeah, we met him and so it was, it was, awesome. it was a fantastic experience. And, and you know, even us going there and seeing the changes they're going to make, that doesn't mean we're necessarily going to think the changes went back to being the best thing. We don't know. We, we don't, don't know. know yeah, we're just gonna have to try it again. Yeah. So when they come out, like I said, I think our battery uh, camera's getting ready to cut off in a minute. Uh, so when they come out with those boxes with the cut out mouths, you will know, start buying them. If you're not buying them, some of you've never quit buying them. I know Andrew and Christina. Yeah, he still likes them. Andrew uh, adores them. And, but I made it very clear to them. I said, you know, I would rather pay a higher price than, and, and know that the quality is there. Even if I'm paying $10 for it, I would rather pay $10 for it uh, than 
pay uh, $6 for it and, and the, the, the flavor not be there. So I want the flavor there. So for me personally, I'm willing to pay that and I think you all are willing to pay that for a good frozen pizza too. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Keep an eye out for the deli ones. Yes, oh yeah, I cannot wait till the deli ones come here. I hope it doesn't take too long. So thanks for watching.